Hello YouTube, I'm doing a video tutorial showing you how to uh, resolve some of the issue uh, with regard to uh, trying to put your APN settings in there, your carrier APN, so that you can use your internet and your picture text messaging. Now version 6.0.1 uh, recently uh, was released by Apple which fixes that issue but it does not fix the um, um, some of the uh, picture text messaging on some of the carrier and stuff like that. As you can see here, uh, I am on uh, Straight Talks Network, which is home. Um, I got 3G on it, but it's uh, the internet is not working. Uh, let me show you. I'm doing a search here, and basically, um, could not activate cellular data network because uh, obviously um, it's not does not have the APN settings in there even though this is a factory unlocked iPhone um, Apple uh, purposely does not allow any um, carrier that is on the, the, the AT&T's tower to use the uh, data and the picture text image. How do they do that? Well basically when you go into the um, settings in general and cellular data Network, you're not going to see that option, that cellular data network tab, which allows you to put the APN settings in there. So if you can't put that in there, you don't have internet. You don't have picture messaging capabilities. Okay. Um, let me show you what I mean here is here. About, I'm on version 6.0.1 right here. Right. Now, watch once we take the... Uh, AT&T tower, um, uh, the, the net 10, okay, SIM card, which is on the AT&T's tower. We take that out, and let's put in a different um, carrier in there. All right, here I'm going to put Simple Mobile in there. All right, now, well, as soon as you put that in there, all right, here's that cellular data network I'm talking about, that tab. See, you see that? It pops right up there. Now you can put the APN setting in there, okay? But earlier, when you put the AT&T um, network tower, no, SIM card that's on the same tower as AT&T, it won't work. Like, for example, Straight Talk, Net10, um, Air Voice, uh, all of these uh, NVNO or all these company are basically using the AT&T tower. So when you put those uh, SIM card in there, you're not going to get that option uh, of putting the APN settings in there unless you jailbreak your iPhone and install an application called Tetrami on there. All right. So here, uh, in order for you to uh, basically put the APN settings in there, you have to be on either T-Mobile's tower, which is here Simple Mobile, okay, um, or same thing, T-Mobile. Uh, these carriers are not on the AT&T's tower, so um, Apple uh, will allow you to put the APN settings in there and get picture text messaging and have your internet working without having to jailbreak your iPhone. This is kind of sucks, but uh, this is... Uh, how Apple decided that uh, they want to do things. So as, as you can see, my iPhone is not jailbroken. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I am on version 6.0.1. Uh, and it is a factory unlocked because you see that I'm on a simple mobile, which is T-Mobile's tower. So that means my phone is factory unlocked. And when you go to general cellular data, I have the cellular data network tab, which allows me to put the APN settings in there. So Simple Mobile, T-Mobile uh, will work, no problem. Uh, Ultra Mobile also will work, no problem, because it's on the T-Mobile's tower. But as soon as I put Net10 in there, which is on AT&T's tower, it's not going to work. All right, there you go. Watch that cellular data network disappear as soon as it gets signal. See, there you go, it's gone. All right, so this is how AT&T wants to do things uh, their way. 
is that anybody that's on the AT&T's tower that is, does not have a contract with AT&T, does not have a data plan with AT&T, then you can't use your data. Um, if it's factory unlocked, sure, you can, uh, you can use it because it's carrier unlocked. If you do a uh, factory unlock, which is <laughs> duh, by Apple, Apple unlocks it. So you can use it with other carrier, but they basically lock the, uh, the uh, data and the picture text messaging. So you're not going to have that unless you're on AT&T's plan using an iPhone. So the best way to do it is to jailbreak your iPhone. All right, so that's going to be another tutorial. But the problem with a lot of these other uh, you know, issue is that if you have an iPhone 4S on version 6.0 up or an iPhone 5, you cannot jailbreak it. There's no way to jailbreak the iPhone 4S and iPhone 5 on version 6.0 up. So basically, you're stuck with a factory unlock iPhone 4S or 5, and uh, you can't even use your data on it, which sucks. Which means that you have to switch to, to, to um, you know, T-Mobile, Simple Mobile, or Ultra Mobile and not be on the AT&T's tower or network in order to, to do that. Uh, fortunately for some of us uh, that it's on the iPhone 4 um, version 6.0 or 6.0.1, you can always jailbreak it, uh, even though it's only a tether jailbreak, but at least... Um, you have the capability of uh, jailbreaking it, uh, install Tetami on there uh, via Cydia, and then uh, you should uh, have that option of uh, putting the APN settings on there. Uh, the cellular data network will appear magically here, and so you could install the APN settings. So that's a quick uh, tutorial and discussion on the APN setting issues with uh, Apple iPhone 4, 4S, and iPhone 5. Uh, regardless whether your iPhone is uh, factory unlocked or not, um, you will not get data to work on there unless um, you are on T-Mobile uh, or Tower or you jailbreak the iPhone, okay? But as we mentioned earlier, uh, the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 version 6.0 and up cannot be jailbroken, so you're going to have to wait for now. Peace. Bye-bye.